Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop, and today I'm going to show you how to make mermaid macarons. Now, if you're looking for a tutorial that's gonna show you step-by-step -step how to make the actual macaron shell, then you probably want to check out my other video. I will put that in the right-hand corner where I show you how I made this batter. I will say this though, I made sure to really let these macarons set up quite a bit before I put them in the oven. That's how I get those glorious feet. Here I am whipping up some chocolate ganache. Chocolate ganache is one of my favorite fillings. I honestly enjoy it in pretty much everything. So if you're new here, you'll see a lot of chocolate ganache on my channel. Now these mermaid macarons are perfect if you don't actually want to make shaped macarons and you just want to turn something a little bit more mermaid-esque. So I'm taking this lovely stencil that I have from the Cookie Countess and I'm just placing it on top and using my airbrush. Whenever I am airbrushing, I am very, very gentle with it. I don't want to be too harsh, especially on something like a macaron because if you do saturate that macaron too much with airbrushing, it's going to soak it all up and it will never dry and it will just be a soggy mess. You could also totally do this with store-bought macarons as well. Time to match up all of those macaron shells. I'm placing one of the green teal ones with the purple ones, but honestly, if you just kind of mix it up and match them, it looks really great too. I want to make some two-toned buttercream, so I'm just mixing up some blue here, and then I'm going to be mixing up some pink. But what I'm doing here is I'm doing a striping technique. So I want it to be really, really swirly when I pipe them out, so I'm just making sure that every second line is a different color. And then you just go ahead and place that saran wrap tube inside of the piping bag and then you can go ahead and start piping. Now I want the filling of these macaron shells to be quite high so I'm really making sure not to dig in my piping bag. I'm more so dropping down the line so it stays as puffy as possible. And then I'm going ahead and filling this up with some chocolate ganache. Not too much because I really don't want my filling leaking out. I did this with macarons, but honestly, if you take the same techniques, you could do this with store-bought cookies that maybe you dip into icing and then you airbrush them with that scale pattern and fill them up just as I did. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Sweetie Fam. Right now, I'm uploading daily, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. 